I am Ali. Today I'm going to read you a story. The Cotton Boy. Are you ready? Yeah. Why is the boy's name is Cotton Boy? When it's made of cotton. Beyond where the sun sets, there was a palace called Cottonland. Everybody knew it. As the White Kingdom, because it was full of fields of cotton and flocks of sheep, it was a small kingdom at the point of being ex extinct. Because the king, Iron Hand, Re and his wife were getting old, and they still didn't have any children. Oh, that. Their luck changed with the birth of the, their first and only son. He was very small, with a rough, white, pale skin, and hair so blonde that it seemed white. It's a very special child, whose health is as delicate as. Announced one of the court astrologists, we must watch out for the signs. Added another, he could get sick for whatever reason, even from the sun's rays. How? But he's very white. Very white, crackly. With the intention of protecting the little prince, the king and queen followed the expert's advice. A lot of cloth was required to cover the walls, the floor, the windows, the furniture, and sh sharp objects. You must use thick layers of wool and cotton, ordered the iron hand by, and very bright colors so that the baby isn't sad. Of course, you have to use many colors if you want to make your children happy. The queen made every offer to close all the doors and windows with stone and mortar. This was the second recommendation the astrologists had made. He will only receive visitors when it's absolutely necessary, and must never leave the palace. Books are a window open to the world. Said the queen, "He will hide them well, so that the prince can't find them. I don't want him to suffer when he sees all he is missing out on." Oh, the cotton boy must be sad. He can't leave. They have thought of everything, but they have forgotten. That children are restless and curious, and that people talk. So every time somebody came to the palace, the prince hid wherever he could and listened to what they said. He listened attentively to what each person said. He imagined what the outside world might be like, and little by little, 
man imagined a world in which the unmatchable was possible. Mm, maybe a baby could think the unmatchable. Um, it could not be unmatchable. Yes. The male must have wings because my father told my mother that it came flying, he reasoned. Wings like the ones on the birds in the cage in the living room. Aw, that's so cute. Girls, today in the market, it was raining fruit, explained one of the cooks. Handfuls of strawberries, bright red cherries, and what juicy pears. And the girls listened, and the prince, and the little prince too. Maybe there are more babies. Maybe the queen has some more babies. When the guards change ships, a watchman attentively told the other how how the village has celebrated the good luck festival. The meadow was full of children. You should have seen the children diving into the water while the adults were fly fishing and sunbathing. Aww. We have to do shower, of course. Hmm. I think some bubbles can help everyone but everyone must have colorful bubbles i love colorfuls and i have some many colored pens oh i have very many colors pink green red yellow blue uh orange brown and of course, purple and some black, some white. Oh, I couldn't explain more. Usually, I'm going to show you the, the color that I like. Okay. How about you guess? Oh, of course, orange is inside and purple is inside there. Can you guess? I have so many colors that I love, but especially these colors. Green, red, purple, orange, pink, pale purple, and green and blue, and blue, orange, of course. Well, I love these colors the most. Well, I wonder what will come if they all mix together. I'm going to find out when I, I finished all this video. Why are you caring so much? The boy asked the gardener. It's the great harvest, little one. There are a lot of grapes in the region. We're going to make a spring wine, you see. The boy was not most surprised by the chimney sweep and his toys. He was carrying sticks, scrapers, and brushes. His skin was very dark. 
and strange sounds come out of his lips. I suppose you have never heard any anyone whistle, he gasped correctly. Huh. <laughs> the man explained that it was a traditional winter tune. The country folk sing it at any time and accompany it with the string and wind instruments. Have you never heard this music before either? Bum, bum. Come closer to the chimney. Listen. As he approached, the boy also provided new smells. It's a real pleasure for his nose. The villagers are full of aromatic food and sponge creams, cream cakes, nuts, jam, chocolate and the chimney sweep didn't finish. In a sentence, he disappeared up the chimney. <gasps> How? Did you know why? <laughs> you find out. That's how the prince discovered that he could leave the palace and he hurriedly followed the footsteps of his latest friend with only no other luggage apart from scarcity and excitement. He climbed up the dark chimney that got narrower and narrower. When he reached the top, he stopped the rest and and the wind cursed him for for the first time. Hey, I can make some sound of snow. I think the sound way. A bit faster. Um, I can make some they get good by bread. Actually, this is a rain. Snow, isn't it? Hurry, guards! Open the doors! Ordered the king as he heard his son's laughter outside. His mother saw that he had left some dark marks on the ground and shouted in fear, The sun! Get out of the sun and away from the other children! Isn't it that bad if he goes out and plays with the other children? He's not a baby now. Who would not be a baby? The prince was unaware of all this. He just laughed and played as the snow erased the marks from his face. The king and queen realized that they had excuses. The astrologers advice because the child was healthy as ever, only one aspect had changed. He was happy. Um.